This place has tons of history. It is known as the Pythian Castle and was actually created by a fraternity, AKA a secret society. Do you hear singing? Now that you mention it, like faintly, of, right? Yeah, I don't know where it's coming from though. Okay, but what, what the? Oh, we're off to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's we're off to a good definitely start. Definitely something here. Yep. Somebody just walked right by there. Serious? Yeah. I might have caught it then. Whoa. Just the first time. Okay. okay. What the? <sighs> Can you complain with what we're capturing? No. <laughs> it's, it's pretty incredible how much, how fast it's all happening. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new haunted adventure. This one is incredibly exciting. We are actually in a castle, a fairly large castle. Uh, this place has tons of history. It is known as the Pythian Castle and was actually created by a fraternity, AKA a secret society. No clickbait, like that is 100% true. So this place was built in 1913 by the Pythias fraternity. Uh, it was actually used for multiple different reasons as an orphanage, as an old age home, uh, was part of the community, was used by the military at one point during World War II, actually housed prisoners of war in the basement, is extremely active. Even just going through here, we've been kind of picking up on some different vibes. Uh, we've been hearing some interesting noises and uh, the interesting thing actually is the fact that there is one employee here. Obviously she has to be here while we're here, but she's kind of hiding in the room off to the side with her two dogs. So you may hear a bark here and there. So um, <laughs> obviously if you do hear that, it might be the dogs. If not, then maybe there's just ghost dogs. There actually is like dog remains. At least that's what I think they are in one of the rooms. So maybe there will be some ghost dogs. I have no idea, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna pretty much be here all night. Um, until we are basically kicked out. And so we're gonna be doing a full-on investigation. It's gonna be super, super exciting. I know Frank's just as excited as I am for this one. And that's also why you're gonna go and follow him on his channel so that <laughs> way when he starts posting videos, you guys will all be able to show your support there on his channel as well. Apart from that, um, a little bit of history on this place. It was built in 1913, uh, so it is 110 years old. We are in Springfield, Missouri. I almost forgot where we are because we travel <laughs> so much that it's hard to keep track sometimes of where we even are. <laughs> um, we're in a place. You, but we're in a place, yeah. <laughs> uh, after this, we're actually gonna be heading down to Texas. We've got some more fun haunted adventures planned. Probably gonna be doing some randonautica as well. And then we'll see where else we end up. The uh, We don't really know where we're gonna end up. Um, but yeah, we've just turned out all of the lights. It is super spooky in here. I can't see anything apart from a bunch of candles on that side and the bright ass light on the camera. Um, if you wanna see this place in more detail with more of a historical explanation to it, go and watch the vlog on the second channel because uh, that's basically what we did there. So that way we don't really have to go too much into it. But what we are gonna focus on are of course the very important details of the castle itself along with the hauntings in the well-known hotspots. The main area that seems to be the most active from what we've heard is the basement. And interestingly enough, uh, every single employee who has been here for years has all said that they've experienced things. We're talking apparitions, we're talking 
black masses, we're talking voices. There are children here, there are soldiers here, there are prisoners here, and of course we have the elderly as well. Um, obviously in the afterlife because it was an old age home as well. Um, yeah, we're gonna basically get this adventure started, smash the like button, and uh, I guess we're gonna head to the back because that's one area where there's a very, very interesting story that I wanna tell you guys about the place, which is, uh, it's pretty spooky. So let's head back there, get set up, and uh, get this party started. Okay, so we're kind of like in the center of the building and I have a bit of an idea of how I wanted to start this. We're gonna do sort of like a seance, not like a full on seance, but what I kind of wanted to do is invite in the spirits because she was mentioning, what, how did she refer to it? It was like the general spirit. Yeah. I think that's how she kind of like said yeah. it, right? There's like apparently like the main spirit that kind of like brings all the spirits together in this place. There's a lot of them. And we kind of want to talk to that one so that way we can kind of invite all of them in at one time. And I think the best spot to kind of start off is going to be past the dining room. So. Okay. So here we have. A really cool dining room. <laughs> it is very, very cool. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the uh, vlog, obviously that was a little bit of a sneak preview on the place. I know you guys haven't seen the basement yet, and trust me, it's freaking scary down there. Even for me, even with all <laughs> the basement asylums that I've done in the past, um, there's just something really spooky about it down there. Did you hear that? I heard something. I thought I heard like a kind of noise. It sounded like it came from back there, yeah. actually. That was interesting. Okay. Huh. So um, the reason why I kind of wanted to start off back here is she was telling us a story of one of the employees who worked here. And she came back here and she saw all of the kitchen staff working, except it had already been converted into this, which is clearly not a kitchen. They, <laughs> they, yeah, they used to have a kitchen in here, and then I believe when the military took it over, they converted it, and obviously there's no longer a kitchen, uh, which is kind of odd. They were all looking at her like, uh, what are you doing here? And she's looking at them like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so that could have been an interesting and uh, awkward conversation with, with ghosts, ghost. right? Yeah. So I think she said there was multiples too. Like yeah. she saw like a whole bunch of them all just kind of. And they were staring back at her. That's yeah, the that's the thing. thing. Like they acknowledged her and she acknowledged them. What I think is that the spirits don't know that they've passed, which is a possibility in a lot of places that we go to, especially here based on that evidence. So kind of the reason why I wanted to start off over here. Um, I kind of had the idea that I wanted to use this space right now to invite the spirits in to talk to us. Uh, we do have a bunch of stuff already set up. We got our REM pod. That's where we're setting off. This actually went off the green. I don't know if it was just because we were kind of moving around. I have no idea. We got the motion sensor there. We have another REM pod somewhere it's around here, which me. it's dark and hard to see. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the very, very loud one all the way at the other end. So that way, if that one goes off, We'll hear it. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, spirits, um, especially the kitchen staff that have made themselves known in here, we want to invite all the spirits of the castle to come forward and communicate with us tonight. Um, we're not afraid of you. We're just paranormal investigators that want to prove that you exist, that you do try to communicate with us, whether you know that you are dead or not. Uh, we're going to be here for a few hours, spending some time with you. We would like to know your names, maybe your stories. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that. I think I just caught a circular orb ball thing that was like sitting here. here? At, yeah, we went like this, and then it went like this, and then it went over the REM pod. Really? Yeah, it was... I just got like a cold spot like on my back like, right shoulder. It was like almost like a precision move. Was it around this general area? Because yeah, I so feel like, it's weird because I feel cold on this side all of a sudden. Like yeah. it's just starting to feel cold, whereas this side I'm not. Uh, I'm. It's like a ring. It was like an orb ring. It wasn't like a bubble. Yeah. It looked like a floating ring. Well, good timing, I guess. Yeah, but I then mean, it went right to the REM pod. Yeah, that's cool. 
Okay, that's a car from outside. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not in like a super busy area, but there will be the periodic car, it seems. Um, but as, I think it'll probably die out as it gets later. It's like almost 12 o'clock, I think. Something like that. Yeah, it's 11.41, 12.41 Toronto time. Um, okay, spirits, like I said, we invite you to come in. I think someone might have joined us already based on what my friend Frank has seen. Um, I'll introduce myself. My name is Angelo. And I'm Frank, as you said. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Does anybody want to communicate with us? Anybody want to make their presence known? Like I said, we invite you in. We are friendly. We don't bite, usually. Unless you ask us to. Unless you ask us to. Is there anybody around? So any of the uh, former kitchen staff? Maybe some military men? Any children? Do you hear singing? Now that you mention it, like kind faintly, of, right? Yeah, I don't know where it's coming from, though. The hell? It's almost like music, but yeah, like a man singing, right? Yeah. Is there someone singing? Sure it wasn't like a car in the background? I don't think so, because I can still hear it. It's fa It almost kind of sounds like it's coming from the basement. It does. That's weird. Is that you singing? Feel free to come closer to where we are. Maybe make one of these cool looking devices go off. We got one with a red light. That one will make a red light and sing some creepy music. Maybe you can open that door for us. That'd be cool. That would be cool. I'll take it. Uh, she did mention that something was opened on something its own was in here. Yeah, something open. I can't remember if she said it was a door yeah, or something. I don't remember, I don't remember I don't what remember she said. Either. Is there anybody in the dining hall area? We know you guys had a lot of good times back there. It's getting louder. Yeah, okay. You're, so it's not just me. Yeah, that's what I'm paying attention to right now. I don't know if you can see my face, hell? but I've got a really weird look on it. I can't see your face. It's just, I didn't think so. I just see bright light, microphone, camera, and then just darkness. Black. It's just like the camera and just the hand is just floating <laughs> in the air. <laughs> That's all I see right now. Okay, let's see if we can hear it. Hang on. Where's it coming from? I don't know. Where? What the hell? What was that? I just heard something move over there. Yeah. That wasn't you? I don't think so. No. I literally just put my hand on the flashlight. That's all I did. What the hell? Go grab the flashlight again. Okay. <laughs> That's a bonus. Like, I didn't even get this no, close. Not I, don't even. I, I think how, I had you in the camera frame. I don't know if you saw how close I got, but that was interesting. I think I had you in frame when that went off. Okay, but... What the... What the hell was that? What the, the hell? Is that one downstairs? I don't know. Hello? I don't remember what her name is. Neither do I. I don't recall her saying her name. No. Maybe she's like, that bang? I don't know. Okay, there's no way that would have been her. I, I don't even think it came from Dude, this that sounded like one of the cell doors downstairs. Yeah. What? I'm hoping the camera picked that up because I was, it sounded like it was kind of far away. Guaranteed the camera picked that up. That was loud. Okay. 
key. It, it almost sounded like a like the door yeah, moved. Yeah, kind of. There's someone back here? What was that? That was guaranteed in here. Yeah, that was like directly behind you. Oh, we're off to a good... Okay. Okay, yeah, there's we're off to a good definitely start. definitely something here. Yep. It seems like every time we kind of like approach the table. Okay, but what was that sound? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so so far we've already heard several sounds. Thank you for showing. That was oh, it's you. God, just get it. Wait. It was this. Oh, do it again. Right. Yeah, that's that's what it sounded like. Sounds about right to me. Okay. Um. So that other noise we heard was like back there somewhere. It banged. Like... Yeah. Well, we know someone's here. Actually, it sounds like. Several of you are here, which Thank is great. You. Yeah, we appreciate you for uh, showing up. I'm curious as to what that sound was down there. That damn thing gets me every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you not want us to leave the room? I mean, we can stay here if you'd like. It's interesting. Let's yeah, try walking. Yeah, let's try walking away and then maybe walking back. If you don't want us to leave the room, make it go off again. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. That's twice now. Well, what if we try approaching? There's another device on the floor that does a similar thing. Oh. Dude, it's whenever we approach. Oh my God, it's just... I feel that, the cold. The cold, you felt that, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm confused. Do you not like when we... Ooh, that's freaking cold. Yeah. Oh my God, all the way down my back. What the heck? <laughs> and like, guys, these are solid floors. Like, it's not our movements yeah. making any sort of interference. At, at all. Do you, do you not want me to touch the table? Oh, maybe like you're touching like the cooking table in their eyes? Maybe. Okay, well I'm touching the table now and it's clearly not doing anything. Hmm. Is this your table? It is super cold here. Like ice cold. Yeah, my nose is cold all of a sudden. Like cold, cold. Let me try something here. Hang on. This worked for us before when we tried to figure out. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about this is that you can hold it and it won't go off unless something moves in front of it. Like that, motion activated. And of course they had to install it with the creepiest sound ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, nothing. Interesting. Okay. Well. All right. Well, we're getting somewhere over here. That's a good start. Yeah. That might have it's been like, you. Dude, anytime I like come close or touch the table, and like I'm doing it so lightly, like I'm not moving. And like, look at this. Okay. At that point, now I'm like just. <laughs> you give it an earthquake yeah. at that point. Like I had to literally shake the whole table before that thing went off. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Huh. Yeah, there's, there's but no why way. though? There's no like rhyme or reason. Okay. It's a riddle. Well, um, we heard something in the basement, so <laughs> I think maybe we'll go in that direction. It sounded like it came from the basement. Yeah. So I don't really, 
don't really know. That was loud, whatever that was. That was a big bang. The door, sounded like the door, something shuffled in here too. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite content. Um, should we bring a REM pod with us? Uh, I kind of just want to raw dog it for you now. You want to raw dog it? Yeah, like no no <coughs> lube, no condom. <coughs> just just Sorry, go guys. right in the hole, you know what I mean? Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> God, that scared the crap what? out of me. This stupid oh. goblin thing. Gargoyle. Gargoyle, sorry. It's not a goblin. Well, whatever, close enough. <laughs> okay, so, we heard something down here. No. Clearly no one's down here. Look at this uh, thing, guys, sorry. <laughs> this thing's just creepy. Yeah, so this thing's trippy because there is a light thing. Th this made uh, Frank like lose his mind when we first got here. Maybe turn off the light. Yeah, I was just gonna say, let me turn off the light. to see it. So uh, there is this oh. like... Oh, that's kind of creepy. That's scary. That's so <laughs> spooky. But, uh, yeah, the gargoyle has like this 3D detailing thing that makes him look like he's moving. That is the coolest freaking thing ever. And creepy. Yeah, I, I want this gargoyle. Do you? Yeah, I legitimately <laughs> want it. <laughs> so... The interesting thing down here is that, for one, back in the orphanage day, the children used to play down here. Um, after that, once the military took it over, they built a whole bunch of different rooms. Reason why is because all the different rooms served a purpose, obviously. Obviously, we have a cell door there. Back during World War II, when they would capture um, the enemy, essentially, they would bring the prisoners here and this is where they would keep them. So apparently they had Japanese prisoners of war, which you can see there on the wall. And I'm not sure what this writing is guys, but if yeah. somebody can translate. I'm not 100% I'm not sure if that's like, somebody was saying it's gibberish? I don't know if she was just joking. But I don't know, it looks legit. Yeah, so we had Japanese, Soldiers were kept here. Obviously, they painted on the wall, and I believe that was from them too. Oh, really? And yeah, that's what she said. They allowed them to paint. So, like somebody was walking. Yeah, I heard that too. I was about to say it. Wait, let's just, just wait and see if we can hear it. <laughs> Is there somebody walking out there? Sounded like it again, I just heard it. Yeah. So apart from the, uh, the Japanese soldiers that were kept here, uh, they also had Italian soldiers. I'm not sure if they had any German soldiers, but from what I remember her telling us, there was Italian soldiers and Japanese soldiers. I just noticed this box here. Oh, yeah, it's an ammunition box. <laughs> Is there actually like something in it? I don't know, is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's just paperwork. paperwork. That's really random. It's a weird place. It's pretty cool, it but really random. <laughs> so, so clearly they had artillery stuff in here. Oh yeah. I don't. Alpha battery. That one's locked. What the heck? What a weird door. The hell? <laughs> okay. Okay. See, so yeah, apparently the children used to play down in this area. Um, then they have an example of what one of the cells used to be. That's super creepy. Really just sleep on that, eh? Yeah, Ooh, I guess so. That's rough. <clears throat> and then I think these were all cells as well. These were the Italians. Yeah, these this were the Italians. So um, I think we'll probably head upstairs, grab whatever we need and uh, see if we can actually communicate down here. Frank and I may end up speaking Italian tonight. They asked us on the live stream that I did speak Italian and stuff. So, hey, here's, yeah. a, here's a good... Uh, Buongiorno. Buonasera. Come stai? Torniamo pronto, ok? Ci vediamo. Vogliamo parlare con noi? Per piacere? Please, thank you. We do have some Italian fans. 
Do we? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, you're yeah. right. We I actually have one, some Italian uh, fans, so hopefully they're watching and they're quite proud of our, our Italian. Italian. Now, I think both Frank and I speak relatively dialect because, you know, we're I've got, mostly it Calabres. Depends. If I speak to a Calabres person, it comes out more dialect. And yeah. then when I speak to a normal Roman, per se, yeah. it comes out a little more clear. But I'm but, with yeah. you, so who knows how it's going to come out. Where's the cuckoos? <laughs> this area is just creepy. I don't know why they. Yeah, had... this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> they had this woman with like a. That chandelier is sick. Is that a real. Like, That's a OG? real legit chandelier. I don't know if I'm like allowed to cross, but. Yeah, I think it is. Is it iron or plastic? No, I think it's iron. Yeah? Yeah. That, that thing is real. That old fridge. Look at that thing. That thing's oh, yeah. huge. I'll think about it. Wait, wait, shh, shh, I just heard that upstairs. Where's it coming from? That's where you're going this. Hello? That was something. I hear a woman singing now. Yeah. You know what? Okay, they said this place was pretty active, but what, like we've been filming what thirty minutes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we turn out all the lights, all of a sudden everything just starts happening. To life. Yeah. I just want to point out, look at the detail on this radiator. I don't know why there's so much. Okay, where did we hear that from? Is it up there? Hello? Whoa, what the f was that? The hell was that? What'd you see? You I, didn't see that? No, I had the camera pointing there though. Somebody just walked right by there. Serious? Yeah. I might have caught it then. Whoa. Who was that? I might have caught it. I don't know if it was just my eyes playing tricks on me, but... Well, that's what we're here for. She did say... And it, was, it was a guy in, in full military uniform. Shut up. Yeah. He was tall, man. Dude was like 6'7". Like really quick from like this side all the way to here. Like really fast. That was amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. What the... Hey, where'd you go? Want to show yourself again? That's, that's cool. If I actually caught that, Dude, I'm going to be so crap. happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was just like a like a like half a second. It's like, had I blinked, problems. I would have missed it. It was full like um, it looked like a navy uniform, like kind of almost like a a light bluish color. I actually seen color as well. It wasn't just dude. I saw the the full. I knew for a fact he was in uniform because he was wearing the hat. Yeah. And the full like uniform, and he was super tall, like I said. That's wicked. All right. It's like right there. Like I'm, I was literally looking here, and then just the corner of my eye, I just just really fast. That was neat. Okay. This place is intense. <laughs> what? I kind of want to go up there. Something is just drawing me up there for some reason. Should we try like having an app go on? What the heck was that? What was that? That was downstairs again. That was the same freaking sound. That was downstairs again. What was it though? Man. Well, you invited them. So yeah, I did. Here they are. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? That was 
down here guaranteed. Oh yeah. What is that? Hear somebody talking? Something's like... Or moaning? I don't even know. Did you hear something in there? It just sounded like somebody walking here like boots. Oh my god. There's too many areas to go to all at one time. It sounded like somebody walking <laughs> okay. like boots. So... That's what it was. Okay, debunked. Oh, the sound that you heard yeah. in here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that kind That's of makes debunked. sense. Um, so there is a tunnel, and it goes really far. We're going to do that at some point. Okay, relax. Um, <laughs> but basically, there is a building all the way at the far end of the property. We can't go in the building because it's owned by the military still. For some reason, they just don't want to give it up. And uh, But we can do the tunnel. But we can do the tunnel. And people do say that the tunny, the, the tunny, the <laughs> tunnel is pretty freaking spooky. So basically the tunnel will lead all the way to the end of that building. Now, personally, I don't really remember. What Did, did she say anything about any sort of? She said that there's some activity down there and yeah. spiders. The spiders are in this one, she said. And I don't the, even know where this one goes. And the tunnel. <laughs> and the tunnel. <laughs> and the tunnel. This is just creepy in here. Just so you guys get an idea of how thick these walls are. Like, this, place are like a, this place is like a fort. It, yeah, it pretty much is. Yeah. This doesn't really go anywhere. I think that just, goes outside. Yeah, there's just a door that looks like it goes outside. But yeah, that tunnel should be pretty interesting because... We are going to end up underneath the building. Um, I mean, we'll see, we'll see if we get any activity. So far, we're getting some good stuff in down here, upstairs, all over the place. So I think we'll grab our stuff and come down. Quiet down over there. Yeah, you keep tripping me out. <laughs> we'll probably just maybe close the door mostly. So we don't hear that. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we know it's coming from here anyways, yeah. but um, we'll probably investigate more like down there because Whatever we heard that moved or crashed or opened or closed or whatever the heck that was, it must have been further down there because we it sounded, when we were upstairs, it sounded like it came from that direction. It did, yeah. But from the basement area. Yeah. So it must have been further down there. And I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe it was a door or something. Um, yeah, let's grab everything and uh, we'll come back down here and see what happens. All right. What the hell? You heard that, right? Yeah, it was a huge bang. So we were just... It wasn't so much a bang, but it's Like a door like, yeah, rattling. Like I don't know if it would sound like furniture being dragged or something. We're literally just packing up our stuff to bring it all down the stairs. We heard like this... It sounded like it came from back here. That's what I was thinking. That's why I keep looking there. This was the kitchen, right? Or yeah. is the... Can't go in there, but... Food prep event... I mean, does it just open? I mean, what harm? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, no, she said we could look in the kitchen. Unless it was this? You want prepping food in here? It really sounded like as if like, this thing was being dragged. Yeah, something like that. That was odd. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, hmm. strange. To Too bad we weren't this. rolling. Yeah, but. <laughs> I know. We're literally just grabbing our stuff, preparing ourselves to go downstairs. I don't see why this fridge would have done that, but... Not a noise like that, no. Yeah, I have no idea, but okay, let's uh, head on downstairs. Okay. See you guys in a second. Okay, so... This place is weird. <laughs> um, we're setting up... We heard what sounded like a doorbell. <laughs> so, I don't think this place has a doorbell. The, I don't know. I don't know if the front door happens to have a doorbell. So, out of curiosity, I'm going to go and look <laughs> to see if there's somebody out there. Because we both heard the exact sounds like a ding, yeah. ding kind of noise. My only guess is a doorbell. That's what I'm thinking. But why would somebody <laughs> be randomly showing up here at like 12 o'clock at night? No, there's no one no. there. There's literally no one. I'm gonna ask the lady when we see her. Yeah. I'm gonna ask her if she heard, I'm gonna ask her if she heard the same thing. 
And if she could at least explain what it was. Yeah. What the heck? No, there's definitely nobody here. No, there's no one here. What the hell? <laughs> Castle with a doorbell? That's pretty interesting. I mean, and the doors sense. are locked. Yeah, all the doors. The are front all door's locked, locked anyway. There's no one there, dude. I don't know. What the hell? I mean, there's an alarm system there clearly, but I think that's just fire. Yeah. So I don't know. I have no <laughs> clue. But we are definitely going to ask her afterwards. We're just literally just trying to get set up down there and. Things keep happening. When the camera's off. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course when the camera's off. Maybe they're just having fun with us. I think so. I think so. You know? We did invite them in. Well. I mean, they're here, but. To communicate, right? Yes. Yeah. But, you know, we made ourselves known. That's a, that's a door. That's guaranteed a door. Hello? Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Is that from the girls' dormitory? I, 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 something's moving somewhere. But you see, when you asked that, I heard a yes. Wait, like, what? Like when you asked if it's coming from the girls' dormitory. You heard somebody say yes? Dormitory, I heard yes. Are you in the girls' dormitory? I heard a whisper of yes. Again or just the first Just the first time. Yeah. Okay. okay. What the? What? Was that in here? I don't know. What in the beluga whale is going on? I do not know. That is one hell of a fireplace. Private. What? Let's find that door. It doesn't say no entry. It's locked though. I can see the lock is engaged. Um, so we know for a fact no one's in there. <laughs> okay. So we're hearing doorbells. We're hearing doors moving and creaking. I heard, I heard a whisper. You heard a whisper. That's a car. Yeah. Wait, we never closed this door. What the hell? Did you close this door? I did. Or maybe she did. I mean, why? I can't see why. Well, she went around closing all the lights. I don't know if. She closed it. I don't recall either of us closing it. No, definitely didn't. I'm not closing doors. <laughs> Holding cameras. Okay. Um, well, as you guys can see, there is literally no one down here. <sighs> wow. Exciting. Yeah. Cool. It's just like one after the other. That's what we want. I know. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just saying because what's crazy is that you never really hear about this place so i just heard something again that was my stomach just wait a minute let's uh let's try and get to a non-creaky spot so we don't yeah. have any sound interference but we're definitely hearing something Sounds like somebody walking around. Where? That way. You mean where I saw the guy? Well, yeah, potentially. All 
I would love to get a glimpse of that guy, whatever you see. That'd be so yeah, cool. he was like there. He went yeah. from that side to that side. Real fast. <clears throat> Where are you? Yeah, whatever's in here is definitely messing with us. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. They can mess with us all night long if they really want to. I'm, I'm down. I'm down yeah. for you to mess around with us. That's cool. It's just funny how you said that and then you're an ambulance or police. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to <laughs> give us a sign? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you said messed around okay, with you. Okay, we're going to go back to the basement. Uh, I don't know if that's the same. I no. have no idea. <clears throat> You're definitely hearing, like, things moving everywhere. The weirdest one was that like doorbell thing. We both yeah. heard it clear as day. Yeah, that was just that. <laughs> That's so out of place. And she didn't even come out. No. So like maybe she didn't hear it. So are we hearing anything? I mean, okay, we both heard it. Yeah. We're, we can't both possibly be losing our minds simultaneously, <laughs> and that, unless this is turning into a grave encounter. She did mention that even like she's heard they've heard gunshots in the building. Yeah, she said she was. Uh, I think she was trying to sleep. And she heard uh, gunshots, and, and then the she apparition. woke up, and then there was a military man literally standing in front of her, like yeah. at the foot of the bed. And she's like, "No, no, 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 not right now. I'm tired." I don't like have she time for this. Said, yeah, she's like, "I don't got this." She sounded like me. She's like, "I don't got time for this." Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to uh, setting up. <laughs> we can't we try can't finish. to, anyways. Yeah. I mean. Can't complain with what we're capturing. No. <laughs> it's it's pretty incredible how much, how fast it's all happening. Yeah, so, it's not even like, oh, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. No, it's, like it's just that we're not minutes. even getting an opportunity to really set up properly. So, but we'll try and do that now. Okay, so um, Frank and I are going to be kind of splitting off a little bit. He's going to be basically taking this side of the basement. There is another section that will explain um, what kind of goes on in that area as we get to it. Frank's going to be doing some uh, Italian. We're going to try. Anyway. We're going to try. Rough, yeah, we have a bunch of devices kind of set up everywhere. REM pods all over the place. Uh, cat balls in this section as well because uh, apparently the children do like to play around here and they do like trigger objects a lot down here. So. We've been getting a lot everywhere. Um, Let's so. can only just hope for Yeah, that. all right, I'm gonna head down there and uh, I guess just scream if you need me. <laughs> you just took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say it. Yeah. Okay. This area is uh, creepy as all hell, but uh, we're doing it. All right, guys, so. I am going to be trying to speak to some Italians in here. My Italian is a little rough, so for anyone that uh, wants to be judgmental on my Italian, I don't speak Italian all the time. Uh, my grandparents passed away, and great, I have battery drains. So I will be right back. I just have to switch the battery, and uh, we'll continue this. We're doing it. Uh, okay. I just need a. Uh spot where I can kind of stop for a second. So basically in this area, um, essentially they had like a boys hangout for the military over here. What's that? And uh, they used to hang out, party, uh, apparently there used to be a bowling alley, pool tables, all sorts of stuff. So this area should be relatively active. So let's uh, take a seat. Hopefully I can figure out where I'm sitting because I can't really see because it's dark. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to try and communicate with these uh, people in Italian and uh, see how we do. Buonasera ragazzi, mi chiamo Francesco. 
soon as I said that, a cat ball just went off out there, guys. Ah, oh, that's where the kids like to play. So that is very interesting. Okay. Oh, I hear the music box going off. That's interesting. That cat ball keeps going off too. Here we are. It is uh, really freaking dark down here. <laughs> All right, spirits. I have to turn off my turn on my light for a second here, just so you guys can see what we're dealing with a little bit better but i'll turn that back out now so i do have the uh paranormal script we've been having some really good results with this lately so you never know some devices work in some places some devices don't rhythm rhythm oh that's weird we've been hearing yeah. music rhythm COVID. Okay. Okay, is there anybody down here that uh, wants to communicate with us? Any military men that passed through here at one point in time? Footsteps off in that direction. Frank is pretty far from me. I don't see why we'd be hearing him. I can't even talking. Anybody down here with me? I'd like to hear from someone. Anyone at all. Yeah, this thing is weird. <laughs> There's like this random thing over here. I'd actually take the uh it's flashing over here. Whoa. Okay, that's just me. Oh, it's just the candlelight. <laughs> yeah, Frank down there. I'm gonna actually carry this around with me since it is more or less mobile. Okay. To all the Italians that are here, I just want to know. Uh how things were for you here is there maybe uh a message you'd like to give us let us know how they treated you uh if you'd like to interact with me oh the cat ball's going off again that's interesting it's been there for like a good 10 minutes and it hasn't gone off once so uh, the fact that it's going off is very evident i'm just listening to here if i hear anything Apple's not stopping. Voglio sapere se ci stanno le gente militari qui. Basically, I'm asking if there's any uh, military people that are here. Se vuoi possiamo parlare. Capital does not stop going off since I've started.
Voglio sapere se è stato bene qui. I want to know if you were okay when you were here. Se vuoi per, per rispondere, tocca questo qua con, con questa luce. I said that if you would like to respond, you can talk, touch that over there with uh, the light. This is one of the creepiest basements I have probably ever been in, and it's massive. <laughs> It's just because it's hitting the door frame or something. I have no idea. Is there something here standing in front of me? I'm trying not to trip on anything because the ground here is like pretty rough. So I'm not sure, I think these might have been cells as well. Whoa. Okay. So this has about a 1.5 meter radius, so it might just be hitting the wall. I heard like a really loud couple of thumps. King. Okay. Is there anybody in this uh, room with me? Very much a dungeon room. <laughs> if you can, why don't you pass right in front of me? Chair just move? I swear that's what I heard. That cat ball keeps just going off like crazy. It's interesting. Is there any kids in here that would like to say anything? I uh, heard that was two, there was two of you uh, that have been seen around here. One of you passed away, I believe, here. And, oh, okay. That's cool. You know, I'm gonna take out the Spirit Talker app on my phone and, uh, Let's see how this goes. Um, the cat ball just does not stop going off now all of a sudden. Like I said, guys, it was there for a while before uh, we started filming and absolutely nothing. Like, I even started jumping on that and it's got like some sort of spongy material underneath. And, uh, yeah. Just getting the app loaded up here on my phone. It just sounded like somebody was walking over there. the spirit talker in my pocket hopefully it uh, brings something up is there anybody here with me right now that would like to talk
that you're happy. You see, I was asking earlier if um, they were okay here when, while they were here uh, when I spoke in Italian. And cat ball just went off again when I said that. I'm glad that you were happy here. Um, is there anything you'd like to say? How many of you are currently present would be great to know as well. That was pretty loud. Hello? This is a really awkwardly small space. <laughs> Is there someone sitting in that chair? Oh, almost missed a step. Of course, because I can't see anything. Okay, that might just be because it's hitting the chair, I think. I left the other paranormal script down there. Let's try this out. If there's anybody here with me, you can use this device in my hand to speak to me. Do you want to talk to me? I heard something it sounded like you moved this chair over here. Was that you? Whoa. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I just scared myself. <laughs> oh my god, that damn thing. That's hilarious. Is there anything that you want to say? You can use this device in my hand to talk to me. What do you need help with? Paddy. Paddy? It's like P-A-D-D-Y. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little too much reflection, but... Well, thank you. I'm trying to be very respectful. We have a lot of respect for you military men. If you guys are still here and want to communicate with us, we be very much appreciated. Hospital. Oh, oh, man, I literally almost just fell down those steps. <laughs> Oh, that would not have been good. Pilot. Pilot. Oh, man. That could be something. Let's see if this thing has any... said anything. Blonde hair. Sink. Blonde hair? Red. Red? What was that noise? It's crazy how it just said blonde hair, cause... The woods. I literally have blonde hair. Also just said the woods, but there are no woods around here, so I don't know what the relevance of that would be. How you doing down there? Um, cat ball does not stop going off all of a sudden. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's steady. Just I've like, asked questions too and it's kind of oh, yeah. gone off. It uh, hasn't stopped. 